it was probably, I don't know, a week or two weeks ago, we were talking and you told me that uh, Jerron, J-Mac, is the most competitive person on the team. I was just yeah. curious, as you go along preseason practice, in what ways has he demonstrated that competitiveness along with his leadership in the back end of the defense? Yeah. Well, you know, um, unfortunately, camp was only 10 days this year instead of, you know, a regular 20 to 25 day camp. Uh, but, you know, it's still tough. You know, it's still a grind. And, uh, you know, that competitive nature in him, you know, he just came out to practice every single day and uh, was consistent. That's the main thing. Um, you know, doing the same thing every day over and over again and doing it at 100% and doing it full speed. Um, you know, it's so great because he sets the example, you know, not only for the defense, not only for the offense, but, um, you know, it really emphasizes, you know, that to the young guys as well about how you need to be consistent, how you need to stay on track and, uh, you know, and how hard work pays off. How do you feel like his move back to safety will benefit him the most in the Wildcats? I feel like that's going to be very beneficial for him. Um, you know, even though despite his size, he's more of, of the size of a safety rather than a linebacker, uh, but he can come downhill and he can hit you like a linebacker. So that's the thing that makes him so dangerous, um, especially at the position that he's in. Um, you know, with what he's doing, he's obviously dropping back into coverage a lot, but he's coming down um, quite a bit, you know, playing in the box too. Um, so that's just the main thing that he helps us out with on defense just because of, of his physicality. Thank you, Wyatt. You're welcome. Ellis? Hey, Wyatt. Um, I'm sure you're going to be a little bit of a marked man this season, given all you accomplished last year and everybody knows you. How do you plan to work around that and still, you know, put up numbers and get in the backfield and make tackles this season? Yeah. Well, you know, that's a question I've been asked multiple times. And, uh, you know, it's something that I've put a lot of thought and consideration into. And, uh, you know, the only really two answers that I can come up with to answer that question is, uh, uh, you know, the first one is, you know, I just have to improve, improve my pass rush and improve my game. Um, you know, now I have to learn how to pass rush, um, you know, with a running back, um, running a wheel route with a little chip before I start rushing the tackle or, um, you know, them sliding the protection towards my way, um, how, to, how to deal with that. And, uh, you know, it's obviously going to be a lot tougher, but, uh, you know, players deal with it all the time. Um, you know, some players let it, you know, deplete their stats from the previous year, but some players, you know, take it as a challenge and uh, usually end up with better stats. So obviously that's my goal is to end up with better stats than last year with that extra challenge I have in front of me. Um, and, you know, the second answer to that question is, you know, just film study. You know, the more you know, the more uh, you know about the offense, which way they're going to slide, you know, which type of protection they're going to have on third down. Um, just all just the overall knowledge of the offense. And uh, that's what's going to be the main, you know, factor in helping me, um, you know, get back there in the backfield and, you know, causing havoc. And uh, just how seriously are you guys taking, you know, uh, safety protocols right now, given that there are more people on campus and that this, you know, you probably do need to be a little bit more safer right now. Yeah. Well, you know, the precautions we're taking at Kansas State, I think, are, you know, the best in the Big 12. Uh, just from what I've seen on social media to other schools and how they're handling it, um, you know, I can pretty much say that Kansas State, I think, is handling it the best way possible. And, uh, you know, we do have the option to, um, to um, continue our classes online, even though if it is not an online class. Uh, so just, uh, you know, make the players feel safe and protected. And, uh, you know, it's tough because students, um, you know, a lot of, we can, you know, honestly say, you know, a lot of students aren't going to follow protocol and procedures to, um, to stay safe and help and, you know, keep the COVID down. Uh, but that's something that we have to do. You know, that's something that's mandatory for us players. And uh, if we're around those, uh, around those regular students on a daily basis, you know, that just increases the chances of something bad happening for us and within our program. So, um, you know, being given that option to take classes online is definitely something that's very great for us. John? Yeah, well, just how much uh, size have you been able to add this off season? Yeah, uh, well, last season I played about uh, what you, I weighed about 263 to 265 ish somewhere in that range. Um, you know, I was obviously big enough. Um, but you know, I obviously just kept working hard and kept grinding, uh, on and off the field. And, um, you know, I got my way up to 270. Uh, a lot of people are kind of surprised that I'll be able to play at 270. Uh, some people believe that, you know, it'll take away from my quickness and my speed. 
Uh, but, you know, that's the one thing that I always harped on that always kept my main uh, focus point was just always keep – no matter what weight I'm playing at, I always keep my speed, my agility, you know, up there with it. So, what was your setup that you had when things were locked down? You couldn't use the facility to work out. What What were you able to use to help yourself this off season? Yeah, well, I was pretty fortunate because uh, you know, over quarantine, all that stuff. Um, I actually did not go home. I stayed in Manhattan the whole time, the whole spring semester, just so I could stay focused on, you know, the things that the things I needed to stay focused on. And uh, you know, I was very lucky because. Uh, one of my best friends from high school has a whole home gym at his house here in Manhattan. So I just used that the whole off season. And um, like I said, super fortunate and super lucky because he had all the equipment that I needed. What are your individual goals for the upcoming season? Uh, you know, I just have one individual goal, actually probably two or three, <laughs> but uh, um, you know, from a personal goal, obviously I want to have better stats than last year. Um, marking at seven and a half stack, uh, seven and a half sacks, you know, that was okay. Uh, but, you know, I want to get in double digits. I want to, you know, increase my tackle for losses, stuff like that. And, uh, you know, another personal goal is just develop, developing my leadership. Uh, there's a lot of young guys. Um, the competitiveness at every single position this year is a lot higher than what it was at last year. And, uh, you know, any spot can be taken at any moment, you know, this year just from a younger guy and from guys stepping up. And, uh, you know, that's something that drives us older players to, you know, to, you know, to stand up and, uh, you know, keep leading and keep being a good example. Appreciate it, Wyatt. Thanks. Thank you. Go to these last two right here, starting with Scott Fritchin. Yeah, two quick questions. First, are you taking all your classes online this semester? I am, yes. And how, how many credit hours is that online? <laughs> well, I'm pretty lucky. I was supposed to graduate in the spring, but, you know, due to COVID, that kind of messed everything up. So I'm actually enrolled in three credit hours at the moment. And okay. that's, this will be my last class until I'm – until I'm a K-State grad. <laughs> Tough semester. Um, so a lot of extra time and effort put into football, which is a good thing. <laughs> Absolutely. And then uh, secondly, it was just announced that K-State's going to be at 25% capacity. Uh, just what are the thoughts and at least having some fans in the stands for you this year? Yeah, well, you know, having fans in the, sta in the stands, you know, that's what makes up game day or not. And, uh, you know, whether the fans are in the, st in the stadium or not, you know, you know, I think it'd be such a different game if, if no fans were allowed. And, uh, you know, obviously the student body, you know, makes up such a big, um, big and such the game day experience of playing at Kansas State. But, uh, you know, I'm so happy that they, you know, passed that rule with 25% capacity because, you know, obviously us players are going out there and we need our main supporters there, which are our parents, uh, which are our relatives, you know, the people who got us to where we are today. Uh, obviously the boosters and, you know, all – with all what they do, you know, how much they give to this program and, you know, even the North end zone with all, all what's going on with that. Um, you know, obviously we wish we could have everyone there, but, you know, not having everyone there is good, but, or not is bad, but, um, you know, like I said, we just need our main supporters there. Last one, Kellis. Thanks for squeezing me in, Ryan. Appreciate it. <laughs> Um, Wyatt, everybody else has talked about him. I want to get your thoughts on him. Khalid Duke, is he as good as everybody says right now? Khalid Duke is a baller. <laughs> and, uh, you know, what makes him a baller? He has all the intangibles. You know, he's definitely a God-gifted defensive end. Uh, he's about 6'4", 240, uh, great quickness, great size, and, you know, just great football instinct. You know, he's quick off the ball, quick off the snap. Uh, obviously, he's a young guy with not much playing experience, but, you know, that'll come over time. And, uh, you know, I've definitely taken him under my wing and show him what I can show him uh, just from experience, you know, how to watch film, what to do, you know, all the keys and tendencies to catch up on that make you a better player. And, uh, you know, I'm excited for his future. I'm excited to play next to him this fall. All right, Wyatt. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you, guys.